Okay, here's a different kind of story problem. It's a problem that you saw in pre-algebra, so you may not even remember it. We're going to go over it again. An insecticide contains 67 centigrams of inert ingredient. All right, inert means it doesn't do anything. It's just there to take up space. All right, so insecticide contains 67 centigrams of inert ingredients for every one centigram of active ingredient. That is the stuff that actually kills the insects. So um, you've got 67 centigrams of inert material right there. You've got one centigram of insecticide, so altogether you've got 68 centigrams. All right, now you've got more of the inert material than you do of the ert material? No, no, active. Okay, the, those are supposed to be containers. They're not very convincing, are they? But together you've got 68. If you've got 67 inert and one pure, um, then you've got 68 all together. So this, are the, this is the ratio of inert to active. Okay, now, somebody brings you 408 centigrams. All right, I didn't finish reading the problem, did I? Let's go back to the beginning. An insecticide contains 67 centigrams of in inert ingredient for every one centigram of active ingredient. So we decided that in a... a, a a group of 68 centigrams, there are 67 inert and one active. All right, now, if a quantity of insecticide weighs 408 centigrams, how much of each type of ingredient does it contain? So knowing that you have this 67 to 1 ratio, somebody brings you 408, a container of 408 centigrams and, and says, okay, um, how much, much, no, how much inert and how much, how much uh, I'm calling it pure, the active ingredient. There's always going to be less of the pure. The inert is put in with the pure to make it less strong. Okay, you want to be able to spread it around and kill a lot of insects. Um, okay, so what we have here is we have a total of 408 centigrams and we have a total of 68 centigrams. We know how, whoops, yeah, okay. There we go. We have a total of 68 centigrams. Let me write that better. We know how this is divided up, 67 to 1. We need to find out how this is divided up. So this is how we're going to do it. Um, it might be easier to find the pure stuff first. So I know that one centigram out of the total 68 centigrams is pure ingredient over here. How much of the 408 centigrams is pure? So I set this up the same way. One pure to 68 total equals X pure to 408 total. There. Let me write it again. One over 68 equals X over 408. 
This is a proportion. Remember proportions from pre-algebra. Proportions are very easy to solve because all you have to do is cross multiply. Every time you have one fraction equals one fraction, you can actually, it ends up skip a step by cross multiplying. So I'm going to multiply 68 times x. And I'm going to let that equal 1 times 408. Then to solve for x, I'm going to divide by 68 and divide by 68 and use my trusty calculator over here. Turn it on. Clear it out. I want to know 408, 408, divided by 68 is 6. So x equals 6. I now know that 6 of these centigrams are pure material. How much is inert? Well, that would be 408 minus 6, right? Because if there are 408 centigrams altogether and 6 of them are the pure material, then the rest is all going to be inert. So the inert is going to be, um, uh, well, it doesn't matter, does it? Because look, that's not what they're asking for. All they're asking for is the centigrams of active ingredient. And we found that when we found x, when we found x right here. OK. So. Um, we are going to have 6 centigrams of the active ingredient. Now, how did we do this? We said, OK, I've got this, this uh, small batch of insecticide. 67 grams of it are inert, and one uh, centigrams of it are inert, and one centigram is active. Altogether, there are 68. Now, if somebody brings me a big clump of 408 centigrams of the same exact kind of insecticide, we're going to have the same ratio going on there of inert ingredients to active ingredients. So what do I do? All right, since one centigram out of the 68 total centigrams is active, that same ratio is going to be true with the 408. So we set it up like, moving the sheet of paper again, set it up like this. One centigram out of 68 centigrams is pure. I don't know how many centigrams out of 408 is pure. And then I saved this. OK, found out x equals 6 centigrams. OK, I'll talk to you later.